Today is Friday, July 5th. This is the 1971 to 1976 Cadillac turn signal cruise control actuating lever. And this unit has been completely disassembled and restored. And I'm going to be doing the functional validation test under power. So I'm going to go ahead and apply power here. And I'll be testing the engage and then further depressing for the coast and the re-engage, re-engage, coast, engage, re-engage, coast, engage, re-engage, coast, engage. And then we'll be testing the other electrical connection for the lock speed and the unlock speed. Okay. So this unit was used from 1971 through 1976. It's specifics really to 1973 to 1976 as that it's a bright chrome with the cruise lettering on it. Okay. In the preceding year, 71 to 73, this was satin chrome as opposed to polished chrome. So in 71 to 73, you'll have a polished chrome stem and the taper will be satin chrome and no cruise insignia indicator embossed on the taper. Whereas uh, after in 73 through 78, uh, they have the polished chrome taper and the cruise embossing lettering on the taper. But the unit is the same functionally from 71 through 78, so uh, it can be used interchangeably. This particular unit is in the original Firethorn Red, and the unit was completely disassembled and the wiring was uh, repaired, which is an often problem with these uh, cruise control levers that the wirings uh, get frayed and the electrical continuity is lost because the wiring is very fragile. As we can see here, we have a very fragile uh, circuit board like three prong connector, three very frail wires. They generally will go ahead and uh, snap or become frayed right here where the threading takes place. Uh, the best way to install these units is to circulate it three times counterclockwise and then rotate counterclockwise so that the wire unwinds as it's being uh, connected into the steering column as opposed to tensioning the wire and wrapping the wire and causing it to bind and get tight and snap or fray which is the principal cause for the failure of these units as the extraction and reinsertion is not done by uh, uh, inversely wrapping the wire prior to insertion. So this is George in Florida. Today I have uh, demonstrated the cruise control lever from 1971 through 1978. Uh, these levers were first introduced in 1969. 6970 is a two-year design. Uh, functionally the same with the button and the circuit board, but again, the uh, cosmetics uh, and geometry of the lever are different, whereas that has a double taper in 69 and 70. And starting in 71, we have the single taper, taper as opposed to the double taper. And in 73, we have the polished taper as opposed to sat chrome taper. But functionally, they're all the same. So this is George in Florida. I have over 375,000 original vintage 1959 through 1976 Cadillac items in my collection. All the way through 78 for the Eldorado. I'm best known for my restoration of the Cadillac steering wheels. The tilt and telescopic steering columns, the power seat mechanisms, the instrument clusters, and other critical hard to source original vintage Cadillac items. Today is Friday, July 5th. This is George in Florida. Thank you very kindly.